Hi, my name is Miranda and I am your nurse today and we're just going to be talking about um, the medication that you're going to be receiving today which is albumin. So the reason why you are given this medication is there's several reasons that we can give it to you um, but it's used to prevent low blood volume, to treat low blood pressure, um, replace albumin if you have low albumin levels in um, your blood test. Um, it also helps with swell, uh, treating swelling in people. And also we give this medication to uh, newborns if their bilirubin levels are high. Um, there's other reasons that you can give it, but those are the main ones. So before we start giving you this drug, I just need to make sure that um, you don't have any allergies and um, if you have any anemia or heart failure or any kidney disease very important. So some things to know um, while you're given this drug is um, we're going to have we're going to check your blood work often and we're also going to monitor um, your vitals specifically your blood pressure. Um, since this medication is only given intravenously you are only going to be receiving it here. This isn't typically a medication that we send um, home with you. Um, if you become pregnant or if you are breastfeeding, please let us know. That's something that uh, the doctor would like to talk to you about. So some adverse effects that can happen with this drug. Um, this, is a, this drug is get, um, derived from a, a donated blood products. Um, so we, do, we are going to have you sign a consent form. And even though it's very rare, um, there can be some reactions and you can inherit some certain diseases, um, but that's very, very rare because we do multiple tests on donated blood. So if you have an allergic reaction, you may have a rash or hives like itching, um, blistered or peeling skin without a fever. That's something you definitely want to let us know about ahead of time or as soon as you, you notice these symptoms. Um, if you start having any high blood pressure symptoms such as dizziness, headache, passing out, or like your eyesight's changing, please let us know. There can also be um, changes in your fluid and electrolytes. So that can be confusion, muscle pain, weakness, um, dry mouth, things like that. <clears throat> So the, there aren't many side effects of this drug, um, but please just keep those in mind. And if you do have those, please let us know because that's when we definitely need to let the doctor know about what's going on. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I will be printing out a handout for you that has all the information of what I just talked about.